Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today I am opening up the October Geek Gear Box. I'm sorry for the delay in opening up this box, but better late than never. On the front we have the Geek Gear logo. This is the Geek Gear Wizardry box. And the box is green, Slytherin color. It has some snakes and cauldrons on it. All right, ready? Here we go. It's open. I'll let you guys see first. You saw a bunch of green tissue paper. The October uh, information pamphlet to show you what's inside. Look at this, a black and yellow shirt. We're gonna see what that is in a second. Um, a package with a Chamber of Secrets door sticker on the front. We have a metal fig of Harry Potter. A scarf. Of course, those recipes. And a wanted poster. Look at that, I'm not gonna show you who's on the wanted poster just yet, but it's a, wa a framed wanted poster. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Let's put the box aside and let's look at the information pamphlet first. So it has Geek Gear logo on it. Oh, I see what's on here already. Cool, it's a basilisk fang. That's what I'm guessing is inside of here. That's cool, way cool, okay. And then the mini figs. It shows a variety of mini figs. I wonder if it's just random which one you receive, but we received Harry in this box. Oh, shoot, I already showed you the wanted poster, but maybe you didn't see it. And then there is, what is that? Oh, it's a phoenix. The phoenix on the shirt and the scarf. So let's look at these items. Now this was the Halloween themed box. I'm assuming the recipes, so each Geek Gear box comes with two different recipes and I'm assuming these are gonna be Halloween themed. Yeah, a, a spider roast. So it's making a roast that looks like a spider and some berry and mascarpone pies. So I will hold up the recipe. You can do a screenshot or pause it and write it down. Here's the front of the recipe and the back of the recipe. And for the spider roast and the back of the spider roast. If you guys make these recipes, I would love to hear how they were, how successful or unsuccessful you were in, in recreating them. Leave a comment below. All right, let's open up the scarf next. It smells very fresh. Here is the scarf. Oh, oh wait. Oh, it's, oh, interesting. It's kind of, um, wait, is there a pocket? No, it, it's like double-sided, but it's sewn together and there's no way to get inside. It's like, see, it's like this. There's like an inside pocket that you can't access, <laughs> but makes it double warm because it's, it's double-sided and double thick. Um, but this is the scarf. This is kind of like a, an old school video game pattern of the Slytherin logo. The colors are accurate, silver and green. Just gonna leave that scarf on and keep us warm. This is that Phoenix shirt. Um, to be honest, the design is kind of boring with the yellow. I mean, the outline is very cool, but it, it would have been more cool if they had maybe done different colors. I mean, I know it's, it's cheaper to produce just one color but if it was, you know, uh, reds and oranges and yellows, it might look a little bit less cheap, in my opinion. Um, so I probably won't keep this. This will be a giveaway in the future. It is a size medium. Actually, let's just do a giveaway right now. So for this t-shirt, I'm giving this t-shirt away. So if you would like to win this t-shirt, look at the information down below on how to enter to win it. Next up is the diecast minifigure. I have um, two others. I have, or maybe I have three others. Yeah, I actually have five. I have both Dumbledore's, Richard Harris, and Michael Gambon. I have a different Harry, a Ron and a Hermione. And then now I have this Harry. So these are tiny little metal figures of the different characters and they have a wide variety of characters. You can even purchase at the store like um, boxes of like 20 different minifigures. This isn't exclusive to just geek gear. I think a lot of the subscription boxes is they, they have some of their own exclusive things as well as pull from merchandise that we can find in store. I'm gonna wait to open up the Basilisk Fang because I'm excited about that. So let's take a look at the Bellatrix Lestrange wanted poster. Very cool that they have this framed and didn't just send a print. 
of, um, of the Wanted poster. I like the frame a lot. It's a wood frame, which is nice for a particle board, but it's still wood. It's not plastic. The, the Wanted poster is very clear. This is, of course, the Wanted poster that we see in the movies. Wanted Bellatrix is strange. Very, very cool piece. All right, let's open up that Basilisk Fang. This is very, very cool. I mean, the coloring is kind of weird, but I really like it. <laughs> very cool, very, very cool. It looks like old and rotten, and the Basilisk has eaten too many uh, large animals or uh, wizards. There's the root, the painted root. This is pretty darn cool. I'm gonna put this on top of the shelves. Well, that was the October box for Geek Gear Wizardry. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything you saw today in this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also reach me at the Potter Collector on Instagram. Down below is a link to where you can sign up for your own Geek Gear subscription box. They do all four houses, or you can select a random option so you don't know which house you're receiving each month. If you're interested in some of the items but don't want to subscribe to a subscription, I would suggest that you check out eBay. A lot of people sell some of the items from their subscription boxes. Or you can wait for me to possibly give them away like that t-shirt. Don't forget if you would like this t-shirt, look down below for information on how to enter. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go? And until next time.